Welcome to Sailing Sertia. I'm Tegan. My parents sold our house, sold their business and bought a 38-foot island spirit catamaran with the goal to travel the world. Only problem is, it needed a complete refit. This is Colbin, my husband. Karen, my mom. Denver, my brother. And Robin, my dad. Together we make up sailing. So we are leaving Dominica. And so far so good. It's looking like beautiful conditions. We have stayed in the south of the bay for much. Because the northern side was just so busy and so full of yachts and we didn't want to have to anchor deeper water which is killing more scope out and more chance of collision. <laughs> um, so we just chose for the quieter place. They said that it's a little bit dangerous. There's been a few boats that had someone swim out to them and threaten them. And so we, my mom and dad just did anchor watch last night. And today we are off to the Saints of Guadalupe. But there's no one to predict, so we don't know how long we're going to be motoring for. On the way up from Martinique to Guadeloupe, we did a stop in Dominica in Portsmouth Bay. According to our Relive app, we did a few land miles too. We don't know where that came in, but it was a really good sail across from Dominica up to, well, you can't even say it was a sail. It was a good trip up to the Saints. The islands were initially christened Los Santos by Christopher Columbus and known as La Saint in Creole, the Saints, and people consider it the Gibraltar of the Antilles. The Saints didn't become French until October 18, 1648. Located to the south of Guadeloupe, the archipelago of La Saints is famed for its beauty and the incredible clarity of its water. It consists of nine tiny islands, but only two are inhabited, Terra de Hot and Terra de Bass. The other seven are uninhabited.
if there isn't a cruise ship in the bay, La Saints is very quiet and quaint and beautiful. But if there is one or two cruise ships, the streets become bustling. So depending on what you feel like, there are very vastly different days you can go to land and explore. In our week that we spent in the Saints, we barely saw any cars. We could probably count on one hand. We saw plenty scooters, bicycles and golf carts though. So Robin and I just found the perfect fixer-upper. Imagine fixing that up to its original form. And that's your view. Wouldn't mind it. What did you just say? I'd like to go to this place. Today. You want to this place? I want to. I need some sponsors. Send them in. So we walked and unintentionally ended up at Marigo Bay, which is around, it's literally on the other side of where we are, a place we had considered maybe coming around to on the boat, but it's so close, we can just walk. Yeah. The view of the Marigo Bay. This looks like a little a locals sundown a joint. Nothing like having an suite on the pavement to watch the sunset. So we have come up across the bay to Ansi Galat on land and Saoirse is across there. It's very pretty, very pretty island. We spotted some of our first iguanas, surprisingly, since Trinidad. So that was exciting. And now Colvin's busy stalking some chickens. Oh, and he's being so bad at it too. Who's he like there? It's our first one. Look at so far away. There's Sersha. 
Welcome to the cashmere. Oh my gosh, this is like a guana island. Huh? Goats are so chill and fast to see. Who knows? <laughs> Look, he's even going on the path. He's alive. So fast asleep and so relaxed. And then he just falls asleep. Little guy. Little guy. Not even perturbed. See, little guy, it's alive. <gasps> okay, you had a skate there. <laughs> you had a so skate, but <laughs> yes, there we go. Oh, we really thought he was not well. He just kept falling asleep. Maybe he was dying. It's like your mom. The nice thirsty. I came up. I'm thirsty, man. I'm so thirsty. <laughs> oh, shame. I was so worried about if I was going to have to steal someone's goat to go take it back to the boat and look off. Oh. Okay. This guy has just got the most perfect hair. Look at it. Hey, guy. Look at it from the side. He's got like blow wave going on perfect manicured goatee
We really thoroughly enjoyed the Saints. It possibly is on our top of our list for quaintness and just beautiful simplicity. We would highly recommend making a stop and you'd probably have to spend a few days. Thank you so much for watching with us if you enjoyed our video please give it a like and if you haven't already and want to see more videos please click the subscribe button